This is Code Let's see what we're doing. Find words that occur the most frequently in a list of words, not including our stop words. Ooh, stop words are back. All right, so we're going to need to import this. If you don't have it, copy it from over there. Find the most frequent word function. Oof. Okay, so we're going to have to write this. What we're going to be doing, though, is we need to find the word that occurs the most frequently in a text list, return a string that contains the most frequently used word, and the number of times it is used. So we're going to be looping a lot. It looks like we're going to be able to make use of text words. Now, what does that do? Remember, what it's going to do is it breaks up our all of this oops, all of this into individual words in an array, which is great. So we can just look at those directly. So let's go ahead and get our function down. Let's see, public. And I know I need to return a string. All right, so um, I need a few things. I need to know int max, what's the maximum any word has appeared, int max word, because I'm going to want to save it if it's appeared the most. I could say frequent, most frequent word, I'm going to say max, okay? And then what else? I'm going to need a current count, int current, or how about a target? I'll do current count. All right, now I'm going to need a for loop to be looping through our info. Um, we could use... We can use an enhanced uh, a for each loop or a regular. I'll just do regular for this time. You know what? Actually, on the outside loop, I'm going to do uh, this version uh, for each. So for string, uh, current count, uh, current. You know what? I'm going to call this target. This is going to be our target word. So, and then this is going to be our target count. Okay. And then... It's going to, how many times has it appeared in our uh, text list? Boom. That's looking good. Now that's looking good. All right. So how many times has it appeared? What we need to do is first, every time we loop back around, we need our target count to be reset to zero. Actually to one though, because the word has already appeared once. And now what are we going to need? We need our, um, to loop through all of the other info. So for, I can do an, I'll do a regular. It doesn't really matter. I like the idea of, I'm going to say other word. And I'm going to show you how to do this with uh, standard loops also, because it's not going to matter at all for something like this. Uh, but for string. And so I want to know if, now remember, we have to check if strings equal each other. So if target word dot equals other word, and if you're like, mister, how did you know that? Go over here, go to Java, go to string, and compare to equals. So if these are equal, and only if they're equal, I'm going to increase the count, right? We found a dupe. Target count plus plus. Great. Which is just equals or plus equals one. It just means add one to it each time you find it. And then at the very end, so after I loop through all the other words, it, but still inside this, I'm going to say if our target count is greater than the max count that we currently have, we found a new max. So max would then be equal to target count. And then the new word is going to be max word is going to be equal to our target word cool okay and then we're going to need to return the oh it wanted a string i believe contains most frequent word yeah and the formatting of this is up to us i guess so i'm going to do string result is going to be equal to uh you can write whatever here you might just put the word i'm being fancy i'm going to put count as well Okay, and then I need to return result. Okay, this is looking good. Now, let me go ahead over here. They have us do a bunch of stuff, I think. Yep, so we need to go ahead and create text to words. Fine. Um, I'll save this, I guess. Array list, string, words, I'll call this. Bam. And then they what they want us to do, and this is kind of cool. So originally, they passed the speech 
uh, file into this. And what that means is our array, uh, because of the constructor, it goes through the file reader and our array list at first is each line of this. So it's only, it only has six indexes and it's each line. So it's basically a, a whole sentence. And then we use text uh, to words and we break out every individual word here. That's what this is going to do. So now we have an array with just the words and we've broken up those sentences to be, it's now just a list of all of the words that were in those sentences. And now I'm going to go ahead and reset this text list to that. I'm going to have text list be set to be equal to those, the list of the individual words and not the line list. So to do that, my text dot, uh, didn't they tell us? Yeah, set text list. Word. Okay. Now that I've done that, uh, remove stop words. So they want us to kill off the stop words. Hello, stop words. I think these are even, yeah, these are already on their own line. So we can actually use file reader directly. And this method here, guys, gets string is static. And what that means is I don't have to instantiate the file reader. I can call it directly. So I'm going to do array list string stop words. And that's going to be equal to get string data. And then I need to pass in the file name. Boom. Okay. And so once I have that though, I can now call remove stop words. So, and I think I have to pass in the stop words. If I recall, let me double check. Yep. And so we pass in the stop words and this is going to tear those stop words out of our current data. And then finally I do find most frequent words. And I could save this to a string and then print it, but I might just do print it directly. Let's see what errors I have, because this was a lot of code and there's bugs. All right, what do I got? Oh yeah, int max word. That's not going to work at all. We need that to be a string. I did a lowercase string here. That's not a thing. Uh, ah, so I must, let me see. Target word doesn't exist. It's only inside of my loop because I declare it up here. So instead, I save it to max word, and that's what I need here. Ah, this is super annoying. I just realized what this is doing. Notice it's yelling about all my array lists. Well, wait a minute, but it's not yelling about array list in text.java. But if I go up to the top, we import the library. I need to do that over here. Since it's uh, a bit special, you actually have to import it directly to be able to use it. Ooh, is it in there three times? Am I overcounting here? Oh, yes, I am. Hey, guys, you don't want, I want a zero here because I'm looping through the entire list. So it will count one when it sees itself. Okay. And a few other like critiques, ways you could do this differently. I went with the uh, for each loop. So people call it enhance. You could just as easily do a standard. I usually prefer a standard to be honest. It uh, is equal to zero. I is going to be less than, uh, what is this? Uh, text list dot size, because it's an array list. I plus plus. And then what I would do for this type of thing is instead I would do like target word would be equal to a text list dot get i and then you could also do that down here and just use you know j or whatever for this one and then i would do j point being though is there's always did i really do that many pluses yikes there's always more than one way to be correct with stuff like this so So play around with it. Find an awesome solution. Anyways, um, let me get rid of that. I liked it. But, uh, but there's always more than one way. And I'm going to make sure to commit. Onward.